start at T minus two minutes, 55 seconds, and the liquid hydrogen tank will be pressurized for flight at T minus one minute, 57 seconds. seconds away from picking up at T minus nine. Nothing is reported amiss and we are go for picking up the count in 10 seconds. Hands on clock will resume on my mark. Now into the final phase of this morning's launch countdown with the initiation of the ground launch sequencer. Standing by now for a request from the orbiter test conductor to Houston flight to send stored program commands which are the final update on the antenna alignment. significant event coming very shortly here with the orbiter crew access arm being retracted away from the vehicle into the launch configuration. This arm can be re-extended in less than half a minute if that's necessary. T minus seven minutes, 30 seconds and counting. In about 45 seconds, the orbiter test conductor will give pilot Charlie Bolden a go to perform the auxiliary power unit pre-start. Bolden will configure switches in the cockpit to put the APUs in the ready-to-start configuration. The APUs will be started at T minus five minutes. Go for APU pre-start will come in about 10 seconds. You want to start your APU? I'd like to start your recorders, please. Recorder start. At 
DLT OTC. Okay. You can perform your APU pre-start, please. That, that's in work. The APUs provide hydraulic power to the orbiter. Standing by for confirmation that the APU free start is complete. Free start is complete. Three great talkbacks. Thank you, Charlie. Pilot Bolden reporting back that the free start operations are complete. T minus five minutes, 30 seconds. Mission Control has transmitted the signal to start the flight recorders. The two recorders will collect measurements of the shuttle system's performance during the flight for playback later after the vehicle is in orbit. May upon T minus five minutes and counting. Let's go for orbiter APU start. And we have a go for APU start. APU, please. That's in work, Stanley. And CDR or TC. Go ahead. You can reconfigure heaters, please. Commander Schreiber asked to reconfigure the orbiter heaters. He'll report uh, when that's complete. Ground launch sequencer has terminated liquid oxygen replenished to the external tank and is now initiating the LOX drain back. NOTC, PLT, APU, APU start is complete and yeah, so far so good. There are the good words. Three APUs in good health. About to start a profile test. A profile test of the orbiter's aero surfaces. The orbiter flight control surfaces are being moved through a pre programmed pattern. And we'll have a gimbling of the main engines, which will follow. Final purge sequence of the main engines is in work. We're now transferring to internal power and switching off the orbiter's ground power supply. At this point, Discovery is being powered by the onboard fuel cells. T minus three minutes and counting. Go for pressurizing the external tank. All systems are DLT go for launch. OTC, two one two. Go ahead, OTC. Okay, clear caution and warning memory and verify no unexpected errors. Okay, we have no uh, caution and warning annunciation stand. Okay. That's complete. Thank you, Charlie. Standing by now, here is the retraction of the gaseous oxygen vent hood. The gimbling of the main engines is complete, and the aerosurfaces have been verified that they are positioned for launch. The external tank now is reported to be at flight pressure. two pressurization up to flight levels. 90 seconds away from launch now. One minute, 30 seconds. And the LH2 tank now reported at flight pressure. Both tanks, liquid and oxygen now, ready to flow propellants. One minute. 
sound suppression water system is now being armed, which will flow water onto the mobile launcher platform at the rate of 900,000 gallons a minute, beginning at T minus 16 seconds. The, heaster, the uh, heaters on the booster joints are now being turned off. The orbiter computers have positioned the vent doors to the launch configuration. Standing by now for a go for auto sequence start. T minus 33. We've had a hold. We do not know at this time what the problem is. We'll be standing by for a word, but the clock is holding at T minus 31 seconds due to a system failure. And NTDSD, it's the LO2 outboard filling drain valve. NTD is the MPL. Go ahead. It's uh, LCC MPS8. And uh, PV9 outboard filling drain closed power is off. It should be on. A recommendation? And uh, NTD, that we're in a no-go situation. We should have uh, our open power, and we do not. Or excuse me, our, our closed power. SP. And uh, NTS, can we verify that the valve is closed? Negative. We are right now show a open position. We cannot verify the valve is closed. SP, this is NTS. Go NTS. Okay, we'll let LCC read now. If we have the closed power on and the open position off, we can uh, cycle one time and try to pick up the closed position, but uh, we never picked up the closed power. Okay, and NPS, uh, we have a message that we were blocked by a prerequisite sequence, GCL-18. What has happened is the ground launch sequencer would not hand off to the orbiter's computers to complete the count because the liquid oxygen fill and drain valve was showing off when it should be on. An analysis of the problem has begun. Uh, we've been holding two minutes. SD, this is uh, CMTS. We're going to make an attempt to pressure that valve closed. Uh, we've got the pre set off. If this works, we should be in good shape. I copy. Proceed. We have seven minutes of runtime available on the auxiliary power units. We've been holding now about two minutes and 20 seconds. And to use the CPS, uh, the valve is closed. We're good. There's the confirmation that we have successfully okay, and, uh, you're in the recycled. Go for start. 25. Booster hydraulic power units have started. 20. Sound suppression water system has started. 15. T minus 13 seconds. 10. T minus 10. Welcome go for main, main engine start. start. We are go for main engine start. T minus 6. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 and liftoff of the Space Shuttle Discovery with the Hubble Space Telescope, our window on the universe. Mission Control Houston. Roll program. Roger roll, Discovery. The roll maneuver puts the vehicle in the proper launch plane. Guidance officer confirms a good roll maneuver. Engines now throttling back. The throttle down maneuver assists in reducing the aerodynamic loads on Discovery as it passes through the area of not maximum dynamic pressure. Velocity now 1,200 feet per second. Discovery downrange three nautical miles. Oh, 
Discovery, go and throttle up. All three engines now throttle back up. Go and throttle up. Engines at 104%. The go at throttle up call signifies that all systems are performing well. All three auxiliary power units look good. Discovery's velocity now 2,300 feet per second and is downrange 8 nautical miles. Standing by for SRB separation. And both solid rocket boosters have separated. Discovery's velocity now 4,300 feet per second at a downrange distance of 35 nautical miles. Booster officer reports all three engines stable at 104% performance. Discover Houston, performance is nominal. And Discovery, two-engine Ben Gurrier. The two-engine Ben Gurrier call means that uh, Discovery could reach the transatlantic abort site at Ben Gurrier on two engines if it were necessary. Copy, nominal performance, two-engine Ben. Velocity now 5,000 feet per second. Discovery 60 nautical miles away from the launch site. 